Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, I've got a white burgundy here, Macon La Roche Vineurs from Sylvain et Alain uh, Normand, 2014 Vieille Vine. I don't know how Vieille the Vine are, uh, but uh, 2014 was a pretty good vintage. And uh, so let's see what uh, what this is like. I'm already pouring it out and thinking, well, it's quite golden in colour. Anyway, come back in a moment after I've smelt it. Well, it's, uh, it's strange. There's uh, um, there's almost a salty edge here. And it's salty is a funny thing to, uh, to to smell in white wine. But there's quite a lot of, uh, of wines that are being made now in a certain way. Uh, I won't go into the, the, all the all the technical details about it, but it's a mixture of oxidation and reduction that where it almost gives rise to this uh, uh, salty edge. Sometimes you think, oh, it's it's because it's, it's close to close to the coast. Well, this isn't close to the coast. Sometimes I um, smell white burgundy, and I get that uh, uh, edge of floor, the yeast that um, uh, the, uh, well, it reminds me of floor, the yeast that uh, grows on uh, uh, on on cherries down in down in, in uh, southern Spain. And it's got a little bit of that character, but it's also got this wealth of fruit and things like ripe pears, ripe apples, a bit of a uh, bit of plum. And it's it's funny, it's the sort of plum it is. It's not so much um, fresh plum, but I can't remember the last time I had tinned plums. But there is some sort something of that character in this wine. It smells it smells really enticing. It smells like it wants to dive in. It smells like it's not going to be really. Um, uh, on that subtle edge of uh, white burgundy, but on the wholesome and uh, fulfilling side. Oh, really tasty. Um, and uh, richness, juiciness, lots of fruit, but and there's like a creamy character as well, but this salty, savoury note. And where you really notice it is uh, there's this fruit and creamy build-up to start with, and then when, just when you think it's going that little bit too big, this um, salty, savoury edge just reins everything in, keeps it all uh, from going that little bit too uh, blobby. And uh, it feels like there's uh, lots and lots of flavour here, but a bit of restraint too. Can have another swig. Well, I really like that. Um, it's not the it's not most complex of white burgundies, but it is really satisfying. And this lovely mixture of riches and restraint. Um, keeps you coming back for more. Uh, what would I want to? I'd, I'd I'd love to go out and get some fish and chips and have that with that because it, almost that salty edge makes me think, oh, salty chips, salty chips. Um, and I think that would go down the storm with uh, with it. And uh, there's there's enough freshness and zip in the wine to um, uh, to almost act as the uh, you don't almost don't need to put vinegar on there. That you've got that that bite from the wine that will uh, that will provide that um, acidic counterpoint. Um, so, uh, tasty wine, and uh, in, as in white burgundy terms, a tasty price too. Uh, very satisfying wine. Thumbs up. See you soon.